we monitor these patients? I think that a patient who has very limited stage disease, so just has a few spots of involvement that can be well controlled with just steroid creams, often we just follow along with their dermatologist. Um, and sometimes don't even really need to see a dermatologist specialize in this disease because that can be so effective. But for patients who get more advanced disease, um, it's really useful to go to a center that has multidisciplinary clinics like we have at UNC. So that means that we have a clinic where the patients will come and they'll see me who specializes in lymphomas, including skin lymphomas, and Dr. Bowers, who's our dermatologist who also specializes um, from a dermatology standpoint in these cutaneous lymphomas. Um, because it's such a rare disease, I think it's really important as people get more advanced to get that expert opinion and input. And so one of the most important things that we talk to our patients about is expectations. So thinking about patients with more advanced cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, it's not like other lymphomas where it's, here's the treatment that we give to everybody, we give it six times, hopefully go into remission and you know go off and live their, their lives without it coming back. With these cutaneous T-cell lymphomas like mycosis lingoides and Cessary syndrome, we don't know how to cure them. So all of the goal is to control them. And um, we don't have a good sense of necessarily which drug's gonna work for which patient. So the majority of drugs um, haven't really been studied extensively and there aren't lots of phase three trials with one exception that we can talk about in a minute, but the majority of drugs um, Maybe 30% of patients have some improvement. 10% of patients have, you know, really significant almost clearance of their skin. So, um, and it can take three or four months before they feel a benefit. And so it's you know, extremely frustrating to treat this disease for the providers and particularly for their patients and their families. So what patients will come in and will say, okay, uh, let's try you on this medicine. Uh, when I initially started, I might see them every month or so to see how they're doing. Maybe I want to increase the dose, check on side effects and things. If we get them on a stable dose from which they're having benefits, sometimes I spread it out, you know, to every two or three months. It's really very variable on the side effects of the medicine and what people are, are getting. Um, when we make decisions about, is this effective enough or do we need to change to new therapy? Unlike other cancers where it's really me looking at this the scans. Oh, did your lymph nodes resolve? Yes. You know, we'll stay on this therapy. With the skin lymphomas, because most patients won't have clearance of their disease, my goal is to improve their quality of life. And so that means you're really balancing side effects of medications, typically only going to give them one drug at a time, not multiple agents like we do in other diseases. And do they feel like they've had some benefit? So sometimes patient's skin can still look pretty bad, but they feel like the itching's better, that they're just feeling better. And in that case, I'll say, okay, if you feel like we've made adequate benefit, let's stay on this because we don't know if the next therapy is going to be any better. Um, the other thing is that often, even if patients had a response, eventually the disease tends to change where the effect of that um, treatment can wear off, at which time we sort of move on to a new therapy.